folks, how's it going? This is IRT all here back with more of Let's Play The Sims 3 All-Stars. So, uh, yeah, we're back to uh, Ladford. And uh, I got a little surprised when I switched back to him. There's a puppy for some reason. I guess while we were playing as the other households, Ladford was like, I want a little bit more company than just my horse. So he got this puppy named Chiba Dog. Yeah, I was gonna be like, oh no, I'm not gonna deal with that. But then I was like, this puppy is so cute, I can't bring myself to delete these pixels. So I think this puppy is here to stay. Yeah. I don't know, we'll just see what happens, I guess. So Ladford does have to go to work soon, so we might actually mostly play from the perspective of a horse, just like... <laughs> my Dragon Valley Rivals Let's Play. Oh man, those are funny times. Giving alternate names to my own Let's Plays. Oh, he's gonna scatter hay in his pajamas. <laughs> Wearing his... I think they're cat slippers. It's hard to, hard to tell with his uh, oh, ghost effects. Yeah, those are cat slippers. <laughs> Only could hug every cat. But I can't. There's too many cats. Especially want to hug that cat that's sad all the time. Like, why my cat is sad. <laughs> uh, Jason Jones, again, making another cameo through messages. Sounds like a cartoon character's name. Gain the fast trait. So, yeah, he's going to go to work. And then hopefully afterwards we can finally pick a bone with the Into the Future household. We'll see. You know what? If it... If there's not home, I'm just gonna make them come over. <laughs> or at least Freezer Bunny Man, because that's the sim who Ladford has a grudge against. Because Freezer Bunny Man changed time and screwed around and stuff, so he's just not... He doesn't really approve of that. So yeah, he's taken upon himself to go back in time and uh, maybe give him a lecture or three. Alright, so let's do this. Let's play Sims 3 All-Stars from the perspective of a horse. Well don't deal with too many routing issues, that is. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, wait. Like, well, you're like at the edge of the world, no wonder. Maybe you actually can't go any farther. Wow, there's like this ominous fog. Oh, man. Hopefully this is setting up for a perfect fight scene later. <laughs> uh, wow, where should we make Cashew go? Oh yeah, I guess we could go over to this lake area because I haven't shown you guys that at all, really. And it's probably my favorite part of it. Especially one of my favorite homes, like, right over here. Oh, there's another dive lot, too. But Ladford doesn't really dive underwater, so... I have to do it with a different household. Um, I guess I can make Cashew go over here. Hopefully this house doesn't take too long to load, though. Be nice if it didn't. And hopefully the puppy's doing all right. Oh, I thought just eight. Well then. Uh, okay, so yeah, here's my favorite house in Beach City. This just looks so amazing. What, somebody's living in there? The Troy household. Yeah, it's supposed to be an empty house when you first load it up, but maybe somebody moved in. Maybe a bartender. A mixologist, I mean, that's what they're supposed to be called in this game. But yeah, especially during the summer months, this is perfect. You can have some boats over here, and then you have this amazing log cabin. Oh, this is one of the sims right now going in. Uh, oh, it's like an elder, okay. That makes sense to me, but yeah, it's a really nice house, especially on the inside, although I can't really show you, since I don't really have any sims to go visit. Um, oh, this is a nice house over here. I haven't really looked at this one. You can see all the sprinklers in their, <laughs> their range bubbles. How much they water. That's weird. I don't think that's supposed to show in live mode. <laughs> no, most definitely not. They're just from the outside. Let's see what kind of view there is. Wow, this is so atmospheric. I love it. Hopefully in The Sims 4 they could at least bring in fog before 
the season's expansion pack. I don't want to wait two years for this sort of thing to come back. Um, uh, let's follow Cashew. Oh, routing issues? Did he even move from that spot? Oh, he did. Okay. Uh, da, 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 like, I don't know, over here <laughs> or something. Yeah, go here. Let's follow, see how far Cashew can go before routing failures. Yeah, just pause it so it doesn't lag as much. There it is. There he is. All right, let's go, yeah. Oh, this tall grass. I remember on my old MacBook that grass would make my game lag so much and it made me sad because I liked how it looked. Gonna gallop across the railroad tracks? Yeah, not like we need to care. There's actually like no trains running over here anyways, so. <laughs> actually, I bet if Cashew crossed the tracks where the steam train was and the steam train was right there. I bet I bet he would just go right through it. <laughs> no routing issues. Oh wait the Oh! <laughs> okay. The <laughs> well there we go. I didn't even have to hypothesize that. <laughs> it actually happened. <laughs> oh, that's that's just great. Oh, I, I still love this game sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, that is something for the highlight reel, for sure. Yeah. Let's take away the UI and make it a bit more cinematic. I should have done that earlier, sorry about that. Yeah, galloping through the wilderness. It's actually a very nice wilderness. Oh, are we there now? We are. Wow. No routing issues. Oh, he's tired though. Uh. Oh, there's like a garden over here. Oh, it's already like frosted over. Yeah, it's like frozen. Wow. Six degrees Celsius. It shouldn't be frozen, but maybe it was frozen overnight or something and it was colder. I didn't really check what the temperature was. This is a really nice house though. I like this. It's using like stilted foundations, but it's not over water. Somebody live in here? Yeah. Oh, we can still visit? Oh, okay. I haven't really done this from a pet's perspective before, but hey, if somebody's here, when well, I guess we can try it out, see what happens. Make a sim come out and then it'll like, uh, pet the horse or something. Be like, hey, all right, you can see inside my house now, even though we won't be able to route inside of it. But you can if you, you try if you want to. Okay, let's see what happens. I hear a cat that I cannot hug because it is pixels. Okay, Cashew, are you going to visit? <laughs> nope. <laughs> of course, routing issues. Yay! Um... Yeah, there's nobody outside to greet, so we can't really do anything. Nice garden, though. We want to maybe uh, could eat. <laughs> eat something. Even though it's a bit of a piggy thing to do, but whatever. It's not any of my playable Sims' garden, so. Is there a beehive? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's like I hear a lot of bees for some reason. Yeah, living the wild horse life. I think there's only a couple more hours before he gets out of work. Yeah, 2.30 p.m. Oh, no, I did mean to go all the way back. Wait, actually, you know what? I want to check out what uh, Shiba is doing. Oh, okay, just peed on the porch. <laughs> all right. Um, no, that's, don't destroy it. Uh, oh, right. I won't be able to get down those stairs. Oh, I put that doghouse there for nothing. Uh, I can't just, no, I can't make you sleep on the chair. Skittish about full moon. That was like two sim days ago. 
Uh, I don't know what I want you to do. The play with the... Oh, you can't play with the ball. Yeah, puppies can hardly do anything except be cute, really. Can't do too much else. But I guess what I could do is uh, get the toy chest real quick and put something out. So I just remembered they can play with some of those things. Uh, oh no, I'll put it like right there. Oh, I'll switch back over to Ladford. Open. You got the fake newspaper. There we go. So you have to destroy the real one. There we go. Something for Shiba to do. Uh. Okay. Oh. Be crazy a little bit more. Just on the grass. Um. Yeah. Let's gallop a little bit more around here. Oh, you can hear the equestrian center. Um, da, 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 da. I could go over there, I suppose. Yeah, why not? Um, which one has the actual obstacles, though? This one? Probably. Yeah, seems like it. I can tell from the shadows that there are some race course obstacles. Uh, okay, he's probably just gonna walk out of the back. Wow, this is actually a really nice lot. Oh, wow. Very realistic looking. I like the uh, grad stands over here, too. Hmm. Very nice. Let's wait for them to all pop into detail here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I think I'll take a picture of this. Oh, he earned 324 simoleons. Yeah, I've never looked at this lot before. There's so much in Beach City that I haven't really seen yet. That I am discovering for the first time with you guys. Um, uh, we just... Oh, frick, yeah. Still can't do it. Uh... I don't know. Drink from there once you get there. Chip with... Like to... What? Who's Chip? What? Yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, I have no idea who Chip is. Uh, no, don't go home. No. How far did he get? Oh, he got pretty far, I think. Uh. Or actually, maybe not. No, not too far. Wow, he is stressed to the max. Well, there is, he can use that as motivation for his rage. All right, um, let's see, which one was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, uh, really? All these sims and there's still like, nobody's there to visit? Oh my goodness, seriously, every time, every, Hi. You know what? We're gonna try and come up with some improvised explanation here as to how he can summon Freezer Buddy Man over to him. Um, I guess he has to go home first, though. So we should probably do that. Alright, uh, let's think here. So, Ladford, he's from the future. So, he's capable of doing stuff a normal sim cannot, including uh, flashing red. <laughs> um. He has, maybe his time traveling wristwatch also makes it so that he can summon Sims now. Yeah, that's it. While he was back in Oasis Landing, he got upgraded. He got his wristwatch upgraded, so now he can also summon Sims at will. Especially since he knows Freezer Buddy Man already. Wait, we might not. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, they were different saves, so they don't know each other, but they did meet in <laughs> Right to the Future Let's Play when Freezer Buddy Man went to Oasis Landing and they. Played in the park and Laffer was completely oblivious that it was that Sim who was screwing up the whole timeline and everything. Okay, so let's use our modding magic. Master controller. Uh, invite over. A male gender. Uh, where is Frigo? Where is it? There he is. And he should be over momentarily. He'll have to make his way over. He won't teleport, but uh, yeah. So you can do something a little bit fun. Uh, play tug of war. 
Yeah, hopefully this works. With, uh, getting Freezer Buddy mad over here. What are you doing, Shiva? Greet Sin. Oh, okay, you're greeting Ladford. I almost thought, what? Freezer Buddy Man's already here? I don't see him. Nope. What? Oh. What? Why did you scold for greeting? At least that's probably what it was. I don't know. Oh, okay, he doesn't want to play tug of war. Uh. Uh. Change name, section. Alright, let's just do the more boring interactions then. Oh! I hear somebody. I heard something. I definitely. There he is with his blue hair for some reason. Uh. Okay, you know what? For storytelling purposes, I, I want him to be in his regular outfit because that's what he's recognized as, so. Just quickly gonna make him change back to his outfit and switch right back. Or actually, I'll let him, uh. I'll let him do the visit interaction first and then, uh. We'll get this started. Uh. Oh, I should have probably made him greet him first. From Ladford's perspective. Uh. Or is he gonna come out now? Um. Wait, what happens if I click on it? Oh, okay, now he's gonna ring the doorbell. Gosh, the slowness of The Sims and The Sims 3. Ladford's like, oh, who's that? Who could that possibly be? Even though I invited him over using my wristwatch to doom. Oh yeah, that's right, he goes through the wall. <laughs> Sometimes I'm still not used to that. Oh yeah, and he does the bow because he has the proper trait. Okay. Or we can switch between both of them. I won't necessarily have to go back right away, I guess. Uh, Alright. No, don't go to sleep yet. Oh. 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 <laughs> I wish I could do that while I was playing as him, you know? That'd be fun. But no. Only when he's inactive, he goes in hot beds like that. Alright, let's go in. Uh... Wait for him to finish haunting this. I hope he doesn't do that for too long. <laughs> Ladford, come on! You invited him over for a reason, not for not to watch him flex his muscles, or make your puppy watch him do that. Not really. Okay, he's sleeping. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, Ladford. Okay. He's just like it is. Whoa, excuse me, um... Yeah. Tell Fred how cool I am. <laughs> the horse. Get a horse involved in this. See what happens. <laughs> He's calling Cashew with his phone? I told Cash you having all about you should hang out sometime. Wow. Alright. Um could like show him the hollow disc and then he'll know for this that he did stuff in the future or something like that. Not really sure what else. Cause yeah, Freezer Buddy Bad means well, he doesn't hold any grudge against Ladford, and now he's like, oh boring. Oh, okay. Well, now they already have something bad going. Okay, switch back to him. I guess I could do this once in a while, just switch between them in mid-episode. Not for, like, the rest of the episode, but just, like, I don't know, brief things like this. With the intertwining. Alright, Veed. The cues of impropriety. What? Cues of impropriety. I don't know if I even read that right. <laughs> Why is he talking about bow ties? 
Oh, because it's like proper and he's like, you're not wearing a formal suit. Oh boy. Actually, this would be a really good promo picture. Um... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> slap with the glove. Mean. Argue. We'll make them enemies once we can do that. That interaction comes up. Ah, come on, please, game cooperate with me. Don't lag. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. No, oh, Freezer Buddy Man is very angry with Ladford. Oh, uh, let's see what's good. Oh, he's just gonna argue. Fight the power, keeping the man off your back never felt so good. Sock it to him. Yeah, you can't just go changing time whatever you please. That's not how it's supposed to work. Uh, point out flaws. It seems like a good interaction to do. And maybe mock his Freezer Bunny Man suit, because he thinks it's silly. <laughs> yeah, this would be a good promo picture too. Let's also uh, take a picture of that. <laughs> Ooh, unforgivably rude. Yep, he is absolutely fighting the power now. Alright, mean. Oh, he still can't, uh. Oh wait, there's fight. Okay. Give Vigo what for? I want to see what that is. Declare him a nemesis. Oh right, it's like a fighting interaction. Alright. <laughs> Whoa. It is so odd now. <laughs> it's like out the window. One of those window view things. Oh, oh, oh. Lag. Lag. Okay. No, oh, stop it! Oh, gosh. This is not the time for you to lag. There you go, like one like that. <laughs> oh. I wonder who's gonna win. Oh, Ladford beat him! Wow, he beat a superhero, even though Freezer Buddy Man doesn't have any actual superpowers. But, there we go. Uh, or wait, are they enemies already? No, they're just disliked. Okay, fight. Declare Nemesis. It's facing the wrong way. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so many good pictures of this moment. Very angry. There we go. They are now enemies. Shiva just freaked out at Ladford for who knows what reason. She is such a weirdo. I always found that message amusing. I'm surprised I'm not tired of it. Um, Whip out those violence and aggression mod. I don't want to kill him though, that's the thing. Um... I don't know, let's just do the punching one again. <laughs> yeah, he's not here to kill him, he's just here to give him the what for. Ooh! Huh, he's just like, ha ha ha, that did hurt. <laughs> wow. Uh, just yell at some more. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again. And it's already going away! <laughs> Uh, alright. Uh, arguing about yetis. <laughs> yeah, just doing 
ahead. We'll, I want to see if they do anything by themselves now. I've already initiated quite a lot. It's like, phew, you're irrelevant. Even though you made up for your mistakes, I still hold a grudge. <laughs> oh, that Freezer Running Man's gonna insult him and his principles. Just, he's just can't let go. Even though he did good, he still, he still won't let go of the past. Speak down, he knows all these irrelevant things. What's this? Oh, offended. Insult. <laughs> Like, you're a trash. I think this has gone on long enough. Let's maybe just get him out of here. We can ask him to leave. Yeah, just ask to leave. Get out of my house. Let's bug you another time. Maybe. <laughs> They're just like casually goodbye. But the fact that they just fought, that he punched him in the face. Wow. Well, Ladford's pretty much settled his score now, so that's mostly what he's here for, so yeah, plus it's really late as well. Oh, there he goes, like it is super fast, futuristic car. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll end this part here, so yeah, as always, thanks for watching, and be sure to leave a like or comment or even subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, because it lets me know that you like my channel and my videos. So yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys, and have a great day.